And I'm better now than I was when you saw that 22-year-old undeveloped kid running from Sunday Lister. I'm experienced now, professional. Jaws been broke, been knocked, knocked down a couple of times. I'm bad. Been chopping trees. I done something new for this fight. I done wrestled with an alligator. That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Man, dude. Bad. Fast. 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 Last night, I cut the light off my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast. Incredible. And you, George Fullman, all of you chumps are going to bow when I whoop him. All of you. I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. See, Ali, this is the only thing about Ali. When you were watching Ali get beaten up as an old man, even though he was a young kid, he's not going to quit. You got to kill him. He won't quit. Even he's, he was getting beat up every round, getting the shit kicked out of him by Larry Home. And if the champ, no, come on, let me out, come on out. They wouldn't stop. He had to be, he would have to stay up there and just take the beating like a man. He just, he wouldn't quit. Um, in a way, I respect the guy like that so much. I have so much admiration for a guy like that. I always like to think I'm a bad motherfucker, vicious motherfucker. I'm a, I don't give a fuck, but I'm. That's a part of Ali. That's that's where he overshines me because I can't understand a man that's willing to just really die for this. Um, Ali's a giant. Like, nobody, there's no way the fighters can match him. He'll die for this shit. He'll die. I'm not gonna die for that. If you think I whoop Sonny Lister, you wait till I get George Fulman. He talks too much, he's ugly, he's pretending I'm the true champion, and they make me the underdog, I'm going to show them all their own, because I'm the champion, I'm the real champion, there'll never be one like me, and all you people in Britain who rank me as the greatest, I'm going to prove I'm the greatest, I'm going to prove to you I'm the greatest, we're going to prove to the world I'm the greatest. Himself is not with me. Otherwise, it ain't no way he can win. You will see. I'm telling you these things now because I'm going out of boxing like I came in, predicting against all experts, going against all odds, and I'm right. So I'm telling you now, this is my last fight, just like I came into the world when I defeated Sonny Liston, defeating a big punch and couldn't nobody beat. It's befitting that I go out beating the same kind of man. And I tell you all now, I'm still, as I told you 10 years ago in the fall, Sonny Liston, I'm still the greatest of all times. You abandoned mistaken. I will annihilate this man. And again, I will be right and the world will be wrong. The man has problems. Gonna float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. George can't hit what his hands can't see. Now you see me, now you don't. He think he will, but I know he won't. They tell me George is good, but I'm twice as nice. And I'm gonna stick to his butt like white all right. The personality of a person, the ways of a person, the thoughts, the deeds, the actions, is all based around his heart. For what is a man? A man is his heart. A lying, cheating heart means a lying, cheating man. A loving, merciful heart means a loving, merciful man. A living heart means a living man. A dead heart means a dead man. Regardless to man's title, regardless to man's wealth, rank, or position, if the heart is not great, then he cannot be great. But if the heart is great, that man remains great under all circumstances, rich or poor, large or small, 
so does the heart that makes one large or small. What would you like people to think about you when you've gone? I'd like for them to say he took a few cups of love. He took one tablespoon of patience, one tablespoon teaspoon of generosity, one pint of kindness. He took one quart of laughter, one pinch of concern, and then he mixed willingness with happiness. He added lots of faith and he stirred it up well. Then he spread it over a span of a lifetime and he served it to each and every deserving person he met.